right, we've got Alex here. It's been a busy evening of storms, Alex. There's a silver lining to the rain and storms we've dealt with, though. I mean, obviously, that was kind of rough for a lot of us. But the silver lining is it is cooled off quite significantly across north and central Alabama. We're in the 70s at this point, so that rain cooled air is the gift you get for dealing with those nasty storms earlier today. Now, far southern green and hail counties are still toasty, but even as far south as Moundville, we're down into the 70s. Still a thunderstorm ongoing right now in southern Pickens, northern Sumter and western green counties, but for the rest of us, we're done with the severe weather threat for this evening, but more storms develop after midnight tonight. But for the next 60 minutes, again, a drying trend for the spots that are still seeing any of that light rain left. But again, we're not out of the woods yet. Still weather aware until tomorrow afternoon. The concern, a redeveloping system of storms that could produce some locally heavy rain above five inches in some spots that could lead to some flash flooding issues, damaging winds between 45 and 60 miles an hour and free, uh, frequent cloud to ground lightning strikes. So let's go to the future cast here. This is 3 a.m. and we're already seeing redevelopment of thunderstorms across northeast Alabama and watch this between 3 and 8 a.m. A lot of the same spots dealing with multiple rounds of storms there that may lead to some flooding issues. And again, the model may be off on the exact location by a little bit with this, but we do tend to think the highest risk, at least through the morning hours for flooding, will be north and east of Birmingham. As we head through Friday, through the day, at least the first half of the day, those storms continue to push uh, south and west. These storms capable of producing some damaging winds and again, locally heavy rain that could lead to some flooding issues. By Friday evening, we should be drying back out and get a break from some of the uh, nasty weather. But still have that concern for flooding uh, starting as early as before sunrise tomorrow morning and continuing through the first half of the day. Highest risk here for some flooding would be mainly north and east of Birmingham, but any spot from Birmingham, Jasper, Calera, Sylacauga, Rockford and points north and east could be dealing with some localized flooding issues and even south and west of that. Some spots could see three inches of rain. Flood watch in place for Winston, Coleman, Blunt, St. Clair, Etowah, Cherokee, Calhoun and Cleveland counties until 1 p.m. tomorrow because flooding is a potential with this next round of storms, as is those damaging winds. So make sure you stay weather aware as you head through your Friday. It'll be a stormy day, especially the first half or two thirds of the day. As we head into the weekend, the heat index climbing up above 105. Scattered storms possible in the afternoon and evening, both Saturday and Sunday. It won't be quite as hot as we head into next week, but we'll keep the summertime stickiness around and that chance for pop-up thunderstorms. Ben, Carly.